We're all intelligent. Again, Jeremy Ryan reporting from DefendingWisconsin.org, Defending Wisconsin Political Action Committee. What just happened is a group of people let people in the State Street door. Just like I had proposed in my video two days ago, they bum-rushed the door and let people in on State Street. State Street door, they let everyone in. Yeah. 
see what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. This land is my land, from California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. To shining sea. So, what do you two think about what just happened over here? We don't understand. We don't, we don't understand. We don't quite understand yet. So, basically, what happened? Basically, what happened for our uh, viewing audience? A bunch of people rushed to the door and let people in, uh, upholding the constitutional right to be inside of the Capitol without these bogus limits and without 16 out and two in. So, what do you think about that part of it? I mean, obviously we don't know the end result, but what do you think about that portion of it? Just the, just the people taking a stand and letting people in. I think it's glorious. Glorious, excellent, excellent. If I was David Koch, I'd say beautiful. Come on back, kids. They're moving people back in. Segregation isn't fair. Segregation isn't fun. Nobody likes segregation. Jeremy Ryan from DefendingWisconsin.org, Defending Wisconsin Political Action Committee. We're talking to Chief Tubbs. Uh, he says that we should leave peacefully. We're letting him know that on Sunday and several other times we have left peacefully when he asked us to without any civil disobedience and we just lose all our members. We just lose our numbers. That's all that happens. He doesn't follow up on the other side. We're not allowed back in the next day. Let's go back to this. He said, if you don't want to leave, step off to the side. We have every right to be in the middle of the side or wherever we want to be. No, I don't want to see blood here. I don't either. I don't either. As long as we remain peaceful, that shouldn't happen. Sometimes it's time to stand down. That's about what you can expect out of this office. I don't know if I agree. Every time. Runs away I, did Sunday. Sunday. I did that on Sunday. I did that on Sunday. I wasn't able to fight another day on Monday. He's been totally contradicted by all the powers. All over him. He, can't, he doesn't really have, he's just w following. Man. It's just total mm -hmm. bullshit. But how can he trust the next word that has no authority to give the word? He doesn't have any authority. And so here's the problem, folks. Chief Tubbs has no authority to give the word in the final say, and so we can't trust his word. He's a trustable guy. However, however, he's being honest. He's saying, yeah, I don't have any, uh, 
you know, and we've we've cooperated. I cooperated on Sunday personally myself, yeah. and I left. And uh, when I came back, I wasn't able to get in at eight in the morning. This was uh, it was just every time we've cooperated, we've been screwed over. Every time we've cooperated, something else blocks us from getting back in the next day. And, He says, don't encourage or pressure anyone else to stay. We're not going to do that. Everyone who's staying already knows they're staying. We know who we are. We're firm. Like words come out of his face. I don't think there's anyone in here that's contemplating staying. It's either they are or they aren't. They already wow. know that. We've been repeatedly manipulated. These people have used our trust as long as was a weakness and it disgusts me. But make no mistake. It may not be our right right now to be arrested. As he says, it may be in our interest to leave and wait. I myself cannot do that. I will stay here and face the consequences of my actions, but the men, even though those above me, will not. Yeah! yeah. Yes. This is why I'm on the segue. This is not an encouragement to, to join you. Thank you very much. This is an encouragement to look inside no, you yourself you and choose what you want. Second. Contempt of court is not, is not civil disobedience. It carries a heavier price. Know yourself. Do you have children that need you? Do you have animals that need feeding? I am 19 years old. I can put my life on hold. Please consider the consequences How's it going, before Andy? you do the same. I cannot stop you. If you will join me in the cuffs, I will see you in the claim. But if not, then please respectfully leave and hold these people to their promise tomorrow that this building will be in public hands. Thank you. so frustrated about the process, what's happened. For all you watching, I, w I was born in Arkansas and I left Arkansas to come to a state that was better. And it looks like they don't care. And I don't want to cast blame on the party I choose, but it's dirty. And our founding fathers broke the laws of Britain in order to form this country. If it takes for me to get arrested, I'm gonna do it. Uh, my name is Jeremy Gosnell, and I'm from Conway, Arkansas. And then another Jeremy, Jeremy Ryan, will be joining him, if, it, if that's what it takes. And so, uh, if that's what it, if it's whatever it takes, we are going to uphold our rights, um, and that's just the bottom line. Uh, we will do it civilly, we will do it peacefully, no violence whatsoever. I repeat, no violence whatsoever. We will do it peacefully, but we will do it, period. Bottom line. And so if I need to get arrested today, I will do so. So there may be a couple day lag before you see this video. But you know, uh, it's just the way it is. Sometimes you gotta take a stand. Sometimes you gotta fight for your rights. Representative Holsey. Yeah. Representative Halsey. Hey. Right, he doesn't want to talk. So apparently the leaders we elect in don't want to talk to us now. I guess uh, I guess our little uh, viral news stream isn't good enough for Representative Halsey. I guess for all our viewers out there, just take note. I just tried to call over Representative Halsey, and our viral newscast wasn't good enough for him. He did say they're going to bring it and read it. If they can hang tight, then we can say in good faith, if we heard it, we can at least have some pause still if people that leave. Yeah. He said, I heard him, the other gentleman say to the senator or whoever that gentleman is, that, pause, us, thank you, the, that they will read it. They have it, they just haven't got it here yet. Mm -hmm. 